Welcome back. I think this is where we left off in the uh, previous video. Why don't we give some knobs a try, put them right in here. So I'm going to start off by making a new part now. And in our new part environment, um, let's see, we're looking at the front plane. So let's choose our front plane to create a sketch on. And let's make the origin the center part there, good. And we'll want to dimension this out. So let's go with uh, dimensions of, let's say, 0.55. Again, this, this project's in inches. I have some projects in millimeters, some parts in inches. If you're a designer, you ought to be able to do both. Let's go with 80. And we have a parallel relation, so I think that's pretty good. Next, maybe I'll dimension this to be 0.2. I want to give this a diameter of something like 0.75. And then we can give here a height of something like 0.1. Yeah, looks like. A knob within reason. Of course, if you're in Britain, I think that means something else. Huh. We'll go to revolve. There. All right, so that's the beginning of a knob, but let's make this one kind of interesting and kind of fun. So I'm going to start, uh, let's sketch on this plane so we can get some little grooves for fingers. Activate a sketch. I'll put my circle right here and then I can choose coincident on this circle and let's choose a vertical relation here and then we'll give this a diameter of say quarter inch we'll deactivate let's sketch on the top of this now right that top face and let's offset this a bit and that way well, I'll, I'll choose a construction line to help me define that. So I have a vertical and angled construction line. We'll give this, how about a nice easy angle of 45 degrees. We'll choose a coincident relation here. And we'll give this something like 0.15. All right, we'll deactivate that. And now let's do some lofting. Let's run a loft from this sketch to this sketch. I'm going to specify tangents on both, but one, this is a small loft, one is going to be too much. So I'm going to grab 0 0.0475, which will probably register as zero, but you'll be able to see how we're not going straight anymore. There we go, and that's actually quite a lot. So I'll edit that and uh, undo this minimize curvature and that looks like a, a pretty nice little curve next let's do a circular pattern I don't know if you can hear my toddler she hasn't had much sleep today there we go and we're gonna say about seven patterns or seven instances I should say uh, now let's let's do some fillets. I want to highlight this face. We'll choose a fillet of 0.02, right? Small fillet around these faces and around this one face, I guess, around these edges. And then let's do the, uh, I, don't know, I almost think of this as like the leading edge here. And I'll make this kind of large, right? Quarter inch. And as I'm rotating my screen, it's slowly rotating off the screen. <laughs> there we go. I think that's all of them. So we'll apply that. Good. So we have really large leading fillets. Maybe we'll do small fillets to give it some uh, variety in the next one. Uh, so maybe in the next screen. I'll close that. 
All right, let's um, put some smooth edges on what I think of as our trailing edge. We'll go with the fillet. And uh, yeah, I've got this set at 20 thou. So I'm gonna go around and the small fillets ought to give us some nice variety. I think I made another version of this that has a bit of a larger fillet. So I'll upload that to GrabCAD as well. I think that one has eighth inch fillets here. So we're going to apply that. And then how about we do a fillet around the top? <laughs> I don't know if you can hear my toddler there. She's pretty cute. We're going to say 0.04. Oh, <laughs> oh, I don't know if you can hear. My toddler is laughing a whole bunch right now. It's pretty, it's pretty fun. All right, nice. So we're going to close that and let's save that. So that looks like something that you'd want to adjust the uh, volume of a guitar on, right? Maybe the bass or the treble as well. Let's close that down. And just for uh, grins, we can add that into the assembly, right? I can insert design. Here's our knob. I want to insert three. And then let's go with new constraint and we'll make, <laughs> we'll make these coplanar. And then of course, cocentric. And I just did that one in the wrong way. So you can control Z that, or you can try to, uh, edit the constraint. Wow, it looks like, uh, there we go. So I can edit this constraint to flip it around, right? Now we'll go with new constraint and I can choose this nice round edge. I can choose part of this round face if I can find one. Yeah, that looks like there is no face whatsoever in there. So I'm going to deal with that in a second. In fact, I should deal with it right now, shouldn't I? Why don't we adjust this guitar a bit? Um, I'm going to open up this body and we're going to edit in separate window or we can edit in the same window, I guess, whatever you prefer. And we're going to grab these fillets here. Yep. Fillet and fillet. So these bottom fillets, I'm going to reduce the size of, right? Just to get a circular face and even you could probably get away with not having a fillet there in the first place. So if I did a 10 thou fillet, looks like I have round faces on all those now and I'll generate to the last feature. And yep, that next fillet makes those faces go away. Kind of a dilemma, but I think let's go to our extrusion. I'm just going to edit my extrusion to go a little bit more deep. How about, negative 0.175. And if we go a bit deeper, generate to last feature. And you can also do stuff other ways, like you can create an axis, right? So my strategy was to just create a circular face and that's enough to make a constraint on. But if you didn't want to do that, right? If you said those fillets are like totally something that I need, I can choose an axis and reference an axis um, in the circular face. And then I have that axis in the middle of my circle that I can uh, work with. So, that, you know, it's not like you have to change your geometry if you don't want to change your geometry. I'm just pretty flexible. <laughs> so uh, there's two ways now to create those constraints, create a circular face or just create a reference axis. So now that we're in this other environment, I'm going to add in a new constraint here and there's my circular face. Yeah, that looks pretty good. 
we'll do the same. I've got this face. And notice that this is an iconical face, but you can pick an axis out of it, which Alibra does very cleverly. So cones or circles are pretty synonymous. Great. So when we're done with that, we'll crank the volume all the way up. Full blast. <laughs> so we've got that complete. Um, let's deal with some of the other parts of the guitar in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. If this is helpful, please subscribe. I'll see you in the next one.